missing my license plate was missing I was just my brain just froze for a little while I have not driven this bike in a very long time I am going to be so rusty <laughs> I forgot this. There you go. Carburetors. You gotta love the carburetors, motorcycles. I missed them. Now we're talking. Okay. I am approximately six feet tall. And I'm tippy tall. Look at this, this bike is real tall. Well, um, as you guys know, I've been riding a Can-Am Spider F3 for about two years. I have not ridden a two-wheel motorcycle in a long time. And I got my little tail bag right in the back. I'm heading to the gym. It's 25 degrees. Let me get this camera up level. All right, let's find out. Oh, I just love this sound. I am wearing my, <laughs> every gear that you could actually think about to protect me from the cold. Look at that, I forgot about my turn signal. Just gonna get some used to getting used to this. I'm used to a semi-automatic going back to shifting it's kind of it feels you know what i mean it feels good but a little intimidating but fun oh this is life all right hopefully i don't need the choke anymore <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is hilarious all right let me stop right here where are we going let me rev it a little bit you hear this all right let's go this is amazing i just love this this is <laughs> this is life guys i do not regret it whatsoever and listen this Honda XR650L I didn't turn it on It was just sitting in the garage for about a year And I have not, like I mean I had to do a couple of things uh, Make sure the carburetor is good Spark plugs I changed the Changed the chain, changed the sprockets They were pretty good, it just had a lot of rust from just sitting in the garage for so long but <laughs> this oh my it, oh god this feels good and it's cold it's about 20 25 20 25 degrees today so it's gonna be chilly see that sound wow Oh, I'm gonna be revving this all day long. All day long. Make sure nobody's coming. All right, we good. Can we make it? How can you not like this bike? This motorcycle, this XR650L is very, I don't know, it doesn't get a lot of credit i'm not sure why this bike should be in your garage <laughs> you know it's so many so many things that you could do with this bike but yeah there's a lot of things that i have i have to get used to again 
and it's remembering that I have a clutch. Where's my phone? I got my phone right here. That I have a clutch. I got a front brake that I gotta worry about. I don't have ABS brake. I have uh, it's a lot of things. Turning cancellation, I don't have that no more. But other than that, man, I'm, I'm used to this bike. This is, this is, ha, this is life. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you this story. What happened to me on my way? Wait, sorry, I just had to hear the engine, you know, <laughs> picking up my spirit. You know, I went to go get this bike inspected. I went down to Allentown and everything was good, you know what I mean? I was. I just need an inspection sticker and that's it. And get, you know what I mean? My oil changes and all those things. And the guy is like, hey, uh, this bike is not gonna pass inspection. You don't have a, a chain guard. I'm like, in the Honda XR650L, 650, 650 you need a chain guard? I'm like, I mean, you know, I'm just, I haven't driven this type of bike in a long time. So I don't even know what you need to pass the inspection. I'm like, all right, uh, I'm just gonna order it from Amazon, you know, whatnot. But luckily he had another one, so I got it off from him. You know, he installed it, everything is good. As he's mounting the bike on top, you know, to make sure the bike is good, looking at it and all that. I'm looking at the back of the bike and I'm like, something is missing. My license plate was missing. I was just, my brain just froze for a little while. My brain couldn't think and comprehend like what just happened. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm like 40 minutes out of my house and I don't have a license plate. What could have happened? I started thinking, well, probably the mechanic, he set it up. Somebody stole my license plate to use it. But then it didn't make sense because I was next to my bike the whole time. So there's no way somebody could have just come from, you know, behind my bike with my presence there and take my license plate. So he's like, hey, listen, I'm gonna, I'm, uh, the shop is gonna be up. It's gonna be open for a little while. Um, just go around, you know, take a look, make sure you didn't misplace or probably fell off. Yo, <laughs> I called the notary. I'm like, hey, uh, you know, she's very great. This notary, she's like, hey, just come through. Uh, I'll get you another license plate real quick. I'm like, oh, all right. Uh, how much are you going to charge me? $70. I'm like, what? <laughs> $70? And here I am. I lost my license plate. I got to go to another little town to get a license plate from the notary. I got to come back to the shop. I'm already wasting like three hours out of my day I was just like what just happened I'm not even making this up I wish I was but I'm not listen my that whole day we just got ruined I just I was shut down I would just maybe that was a sign I don't know what type of sign I didn't you know what I mean like I don't know but they like, and oh, I mean let me go reverse a little bit. I went back to the road that I was, you know, the, the, uh, I was backtracking because I took all these roads. So I'm looking at the floor, looking at the ground, making sure I don't see nothing. And then, you know, I was just searching for the license plate. When I got close to the town where I was getting the, uh, the, the bike inspected, I just... I was talking to my girl on the phone and I'm like, hey, I see something shiny in the ground. She's like, what do you mean something shiny? Literally, it just looked like a piece of small little metal because the motorcycle license plate is literally this, that length, real small. So it's really easy to miss it. So fast forward, you know, I see the license plate, I pull over. And of course, nobody want to just stop middle of traffic. You know, nobody want to just stop for me to just. So I'm like, yo, you know what? 
I'm gonna just go for it. So I fetched down, got the license plate. I was just like, what just happened? So now I have my own license plate that I just reported it lost or stolen. And I have a new license plate. What can, what, what anything worse could, could have, have happened that day? You know what I mean? But I'm happy the bike is, has this nice up to date. It's up to date, everything is good, pass inspection, I'm excited. I'm gonna be riding this bike until it snows and I can't ride it. I love riding motorcycle, I just love it. And these pants, are they're really good, you know what I mean? Really good for the weather. Cold weather, not for the summer, just for the cold weather. And surprisingly, this jacket, it feels amazing. And I got this handguard, which is deflecting the airflow from my hands elsewhere but yes guys i wanted to share that story with you guys that was a crazy experience for me I, my mind was all over the place hey and the moral of the story when you have a motorcycle make sure you put a washer before the before you screw it all you know put together the you put the bolt and nut together make sure you put a washer that's what happened i didn't put a washer so I guess when I was riding, it just, just came off. But yes guys, uh, this was a video I wanted to make for you guys. Like and subscribe if you like this video. This is gonna be the content of a, this is gonna be my new journey of a motorcycle with this bike. And with all that being said guys, Thank you very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Look what I'm doing for you guys. My woman said I'm crazy for doing this video in the cold. But it doesn't even feel cold. I feel good. When you're too excited doing the things that you love, you don't feel anything. Until the next time, guys.